All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got part two out of my nickel double A gap. This right here um, is without a doubt one of my most used formations. It's such a glitchy, glitchy, glitchy uh, blitz package setup. It's unreal. Um, so, you know, I don't think I really have too many more setups out of this. Um, but I definitely, um, you know, I, I probably would look. But either way, I'm looking for a new defensive playbook anyway because I pretty much exhausted this playbook. I moved on an offense to the Raiders, and I'm totally in love with that book. I still go back and forth between them and the Saints. I'm not going to lie. The Saints are still really good. Um, other than that, uh, like I said, I'm looking for a new book. So let me know in the comment section if you guys know any books that are different than this. I mean, maybe like 3-4, Bear. Uh, you know stuff like that. I really need a nice playbook that I can really um, try to find some glitchy blitzes in. So let me know in the comment section what you guys want me to take a look at. What's really good. Um, other than that, like I said, I'm probably going to move on from the Bengals at some point. Even though this is still my favorite book. This is the best defensive playbook in the game. Uh, full breakdowns of these books are all in the description too. If I didn't mention that. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's get into the first play here. Uh, this one, without a doubt, is is my favorite <laughs> blitz in this. I mean, I've put out a couple blitzes out of this, but this cover one hole is so consistent, and I don't want to call it a nano because every Every time I do, EA fixes my plays. So let's just say it's a really consistent blitz. And let's pick it. It's the cover one hole. It's a lot. The setup I'm going to do is a lot like what people see out of the mid blitz. But it's just much better. It's a much better. You're not going to be giving up touchdowns if the pressure doesn't come in. Let's just put it that way. So let's go ahead and let's pick the cover one hole. And then on offense, we'll just pick random gun. Yeah, all I'm really going to do here is I'm going to blitz all to make it just like the mid blitz. Um, and then I'm going to use her um, Evans here. So what I'm really doing, I have coverage everywhere, but I got a safety deep. So I don't really have uh, the same issue like I had before. And my assignment is going to be Hill, but I can also cover, my main assignment is going to be Hill, but I can also cover other people. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to get, uh, you know, a real simple uh, sack there. So we'll go ahead, we'll do that again. That was just like too easy. <laughs> I didn't even get to really figure it out. So you can see once again, here, here the open man's running back. That's going to be my assignment, but everybody else is kind of there too. I have a safety back, which is nice. As you can see, he doesn't get anywhere on the ground. It's a good run stopping play. Do that again. Like I said, everybody's got a man. So Ingram here is gonna be my issue. So this time I'm gonna flip it to the other defensive end. You always wanna be the defensive end uh, where the running back is. So we're gonna go ahead, cause that's my assignment. So we're gonna go ahead. I already got sucked in, which sucks. I don't know why the computer took off that way, but it's whatever. I, I, I would have had him covered. So like I said, real simple adjustment. All you're gonna do, blitz all, and then whatever side the running back's on, on this particular play, because he's my assignment, I have to uh, bluff blitz. So once this ball is hiked, I gotta make sure I cover that running back. And that right there, he threw it quick. It must have been pressure related, I don't know. Definitely threw it before the play was there. So let's go ahead and let's see look at that right there yeah that's why i threw it because every time that defensive end is going to come off of that edge pretty much every time on block that's the point of the bluff blitz because because basically you have five blockers and the computer is going to read that you're sending six even though you're you're using off of a bluff blitz so he freezes 72 freezes everybody engages and then by the time you know they just kind of shift over one you see how 75 over there goes to the linebacker and double teams uh, the defensive t tackle comes in, so 72. They just kind of shift off. It's not that it's not that they're reading that the defensive uh, tackle is getting through. It's just that they read the shift over one. So that basically just leaves this guy free to come in every time. And that's why he got rid of that ball before the play was developed because he had a free man blitzing. That's really that all this play is about. But like I said, what makes this play better than the mid blitz, which is in my audibles, when you do it out of a mid blitz, if somebody gets beat, it's a touchdown. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's That's the issue. So this guy here, plus if you, you know, I have to have him over here on this side, and it kind of gives the play away. Where if you do it out of the original play, now you have, is this the original play? I'm not sure. Now you have um, a guy back, so it looks like it could be a cover three. It kind of doesn't give the play away, which is nice. Um, and you still have everybody covered. Now this time the, the, the tight end's my guy, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bluff blitz him, and I'm going to cover that tight end. So let's go ahead and let's do this. I also bring him in a few steps too to the right tackle, which I didn't really mention. So once again, free guy, easy money. That's just as easy as it gets. So, um, you know, once again, now I'm gonna bluff, I'm gonna send all the running backs open. That's the guy's not covered. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bluff blitz on this side. Bring my guy in a little bit. I wanna make sure that that's, that 72 pays attention to me. And look at that, it's a run play. Um, we got a pretty good run out of it, but it's all good though. You can see that that defensive end, even though it was a run play, 
Let's go ahead and let's go to the instant replay. I, I saw that that defensive end came free, just to show you guys the consistency here. See? He came in free. I mean, I know the play wasn't designed his way, but that's what's going to happen every time. And like I said, it's not the best run play because you're not using a linebacker. Or, I mean, it's a decent run defense. But since you're not using a linebacker, you can get caught up on a block. Um, it, can be it can be problematic. But that's still a good play. So here we go. Send all. We're going to go over. We're going to use her, the defensive end over Kimura because that's my guy. Bring the guy in a little bit. And boom, look at that. I'm tucking that down. He has to throw it out of bounds. I mean, that was, you see the pressure again. If he either threw it over to me, he probably would have been picked off. So let's go ahead and let's do this again. Guy's coming in free. I mean, this is like 100% free every time. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you just, it's just it's just so money. You know what I mean? It's, and, you know, you, you could say it's so fast, too, that the, the man, that these routes, even if they're man-beating routes, they don't have time to set up. So uh, to me, one of the best blitzes out there. So that's it. That's that's the play. Um, like I said, it's just a new take on the mid blitz. A better take on the mid blitz, as you can see. Like I said, you, you're not getting beat for anything deep. Because even if they complete, it, let's say let's say right here, let's say right here he gets a completion. Let's let's hope. I mean, I'll try to say I hope that the pressure doesn't get in, but it probably will. So let's say there's a completion. It's not going to be a game. Oh, this is <laughs> okay. Whatever. If it was a completion, it's not going to be a home run because I got a safety back there. That's what makes this play so much better than the mid blitz is you're not giving up huge plays. Plus, it's not given away based off of the fact that it's a man. A lot of people can read man right away just based off of the pre-snap read. This here is the cover one, which a lot of people confuse for cover three, which is even more valuable. So they might pre-snap read a zone defense and try to do something uh, to beat that zone. So that's it. If you guys want to see more defensive plays, do me a favor to the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching Madden Wish It Out. If you more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.